In this video, we're going to show you how to add cards to a deck that you've created inside of Brainscape. So in a previous video, we created these two decks. So we're going to go add some cards to it. So what we're doing here is having logos. You can have a little logo challenge to see if you can identify which companies go with which logo. So we've broken it into two decks, which you may or may not want to do. But for the sake of this, we have a couple decks. So we'll go to tech companies and add cards. Now, the problem is we're just in the text view here. You can add text to either one. We want to add an image, though. Let them see an image and then give an answer. So for that, we go up to the advanced editor at the top. You need to have a premium account to access this. But now we're in the advanced editor that has a lot more power to attach images and attach sounds. So we're going to attach an image. And we're in the tech companies one. So I'm going to add a couple tech logos. So let's drag in some logos I have. You recognize this from Apple. So once the bar is full, you can close the window. We'll say Apple. And then it's also advised to give it a card name because in this view, it's a little tricky to see the details. That way, when it's listed here, you'll see the names of them to go back in and edit easily. That name doesn't show up to spoil it or anything. So now here we can choose to save, or we can choose to delete or duplicate or do other things, or hit next. And next saves and takes you either to the next card in the stack or to another new one. So in this case, we'll hit next to go to another new one. You'll see now we have Apple. It's labeled there because we put the name in and a blank new card. So we'll attach images, slide over this logo, and that's Google. So now it's been uploaded, so we can close it. We'll say Google and save Google here. In this case, we'll just say save. I don't want to add another card for now. I just want to save that deck as it is with those two logos in it. So we'll save it here. It should say saved at the top. There we go. So now we'll go back to my library. And we'll add a, add a couple restaurants as well. So let's go to add cards here. And again, we need not just the names here. I want to get to the advanced editor. So we go to that. And again, you can have images or sounds in the question or the answer. So for example, if you've done a foreign language, most of them have text and then a sound as well so they can read it to you. Uh, we don't need that in this case, but those are, that's where those options are. So for the restaurants here, we'll go ahead and add a logo. And we'll close that and call it McDonald's. And name it as well. And then we'll go ahead and add one more. So we'll let it load here, attach images. Drag in a little Chick-fil-A chicken face here. So we'll call it Chick-fil-A. And again, give it a name. And the names you don't really need, but again, they help quite a bit if you have a lot of cards in a deck so you can see quickly on the side which one to go and edit. And again, here, we'll just say save rather than next. And that's it. So now in our library, which is totally, uh, well, actually it's private right now, so really we'd want to make it public. Let other people find it. If we want to share it, we could. And we have a couple, couple logos going. If we want to study, it works just like you'd expect. There's Apple. Yep, we know that. Got it perfect. And there's Google. We got that perfect and hey, 100% mastery. So that's a quick look at how to create cards for your decks, including with some images. Hope that helps. Thanks.